Hello everyone, this is your captain speaking, welcome to the DHC Limerick, and today we are back with another Let's Play on Shadow Man Remastered. We are now on part 14, Lava, du Lava Ducks. So, some of you are thinking, um, DHC, what are you doing the cageways? Well, I want to apologize, I forgot to include the, the Rata Drum parts in the other levels, because, um, I guess uh, I wasted too much time in the experimentation room, so um, I totally forgot about this. So I'm just gonna cover these in the beginning afterwards. We're gonna head straight to the Asylum Lava Duck. So, enough of talking. Let's get straight to the gameplay, shall we? So, the cage does have a um, Rattle Jones location, so let's take out the Marty, our new acquired weapon from the Temple of Prophecy. That's one, two, and three. I still don't like that. I like the other one better, so... There are four barrels in here. Let's see Bacato. And, and pretty much, I think we cleared the cageways. So we found all cattle in the level. Oh yeah, for to find out, I did missing a couple of cattle from, cer cer from previous levels, so... For those levels, we are pretty much cleared. The experimentation rooms, the Cathedral Pain, and the Asylum Gateway. So if you guys don't know where the... The um the left doors are at. I'll probably post a a link on where to find them in the description down below. So um so that's one of the um rattle jump locations. So let's go to the dead side marrow gates. All right, so here we're at the other um, rattle drum location at the marrow gates. So let's go ahead and put let's use, let's activate these drums. That's one and one more. Piece of cake. And what's in here? Uh, nothing but cattle. So, um, I think we still have a little bit left over to clear up the, the marrow gate. So, um, other than that, let's head to the path of shadows. All right. So here we are at the coffin door that requires um, Dark Soul level seven. So let's go ahead and open this one up. <laughs> So let's see where this world leads us to. Huh, shortcut. This looks like this is the top of where the le the coffin level six door is at. Anything important? Uh, I guess not. I think there's supposed to be an enemy spawning. On the 64 version, there's no more enemy spawning way up here. I think it looked like it was a dumpy that is climbing. I don't know if that was a glitch or anything in the 64 version, but nothing. Let's see around here, so, um, this leads us back to the very final area, so, there's the, another, um, a coffin door that requires Dark Soul level 7, so let's open it. I am the Lord of Dead Side. So let's see what's in here, hope it's not another shortcut. Yep! And looks like we're going to the Asylum. You can tell by the details with those pipes. Alright, so let's, mark, let's make our way over there now. I feel as though my powers are almost at their peak. The souls within me burn with a dreadful fire that threatens to consume me. I must exercise the utmost care from here on in or find myself succumbing to Asylum's dark allure. Yep, so here we are. We're now in the part of the Asylum Lava Ducks. This part's not that important, but I think it could be a short level, but if you end up getting the, um, the Nagger, um, Gat Tattoo, then, um... Oh! I forgot that the, um... I forgot to mention that uh, the Martillo actually kills enemies, but something new just implemented into that weapon. Basically, the, the flames actually kill multiple enemies, but I did not know there were homing flames. That's pretty cool. I like the improvement, but I don't really recommend using the Martillo as a weapon. Because they will eat your energy, so just stick with the rattle, so... Alright, there's no cattle up here, so... I don't know how much cattle is in this level, but... Let's see if they changed anything to this level, because I heard there's going to be a retractor in this level, but 
I'm likely wrong, unless that's in the different asylum level. And now the music changes. Now it feels a bit freaky. I guess we go this way. Alright, here we go. Alright, we go around here and this area though, a lot of people get lost on here because they don't know where to go. So the first thing I would like to The first thing I would like to go is just go this way. This area I'd rather go first because um I'm gonna open some important doors would lead to Dark Souls then because um not everyone figured out how to open it, so I'm gonna show you how I do it. Or how I not clear this area up early first. Oh, that's right, uh, we acquired the Violator. I don't know how much ammo it carries now. So it carries 500, but you can't carry it no more. Some of you are thinking, um, DAG, DAG, aren't you able to cl clear with 1,999 um, ammo? You can, but from this game, I think you need the other Violator, which requires the accu three accumulators, so. All right, so we're almost there to our next health upgrade. Probably because I cleared, I I got the um the missing cattle from the levels I missed from the last video, which I apologize, but I will I'll put that video, in the, not the video, but the link down in the description. Whoa! So I put the I put this violator to work. Look how fast they cleared them. In the 64 version, the violator had a a really cool sound. It doesn't, I feel like this is a game down, probably an, an issue. Let's collect our first Dark Soul. Dark Souls are mine. Alright, let's open this door. Let's kill this guy. So yeah, that's what the violin is. It's like a machine gun. Like a minigun, basically. I like this weapon, but... Just use it for last resort in case you're in, in, in bigger trouble. We'll find a way to open that soon, but right now it's not the time. That, I know where to go. Let's see if there's any cattle here. Sometimes could be cattle hidden in those skins, but not really. And we'll come back here later, but right now we're gonna open up the other areas. So yeah, that violator does is basically a machine gun. So um, use it when you're out of energy or, or vice versa. So um, great weapon. It's cool they added that to the to the remaster because only the Nintendo 64 version had two violators. Meanwhile, the other version did not. Instead, they ended up getting the Book of Shadows. Pretty cool though, but it's kind of cool how the developers made all four um, versions of the game come together I like that I like that you know like add every single bit of content for board version to one plus adding cut content shout out to night dive studios for that all right another dark soul well, watch out for that commando we'll open this door but hurry up before they know we're here dark souls are mine. I think we should be getting to dark soul level 8 soon Cause I've been collecting a lot of Dark Souls from the last video. Alright, we're gonna take care of these chainsaw dudes. But you know, I'm the rattle or the violator. I feel like they make the violator weaker. Or is it just me? Good thing we can pick up this ammo pickups now. Thank goodness for that. So now we know what the empty barrels are. It's basically violator ammo. Yeah, you can put, you, we need to find the, I don't know what I'm going to say, but, um, we're going to start cleaning all these areas for the Dark Souls. Alright, there's some cattle here somewhere. Um, no, not really. Oh, they're on top, my bad, they're on the top platform. Let's make, way, let's make our way up. I hear a commando. Yep. 
Got killed quickly. Yep, more Violar ammo. But remember, you only carry, if you have one, you only can carry up to 500. I'm surprised they did that, because in the original, you can carry all 999. Oh, another one. Okay, well, I don't know what sound was that. I think it's a new, I think it's a new remix of the Lava Duck, so it's all music. It's still in the the Undercity. The Undercity is the final asylum part of the level. And I guess one of the creepiest. And I'm sure we're going right, so... I think this area leads us to the... Yes. We'll, we'll make it back later. Right now, um, we're not gonna do that. Tomorrow. We gotta make sure we get all every Dark Soul we can find before going over there. All right, so we got we found two cattle up here. We're almost there for a final another health upgrade, which we're gonna need anyway. So let's head back here, but this time. We're going to this little pass right here. We're gonna open up a new pass right now. Cause I know somebody get lost in this level, so... Whoa! They sure did add a lot of enemies to this level. Cause in the 64 version, there wasn't that many. So I don't mind the amount of enemies in this level. We are now at Dark Soul level 8. So which means we're able to go to the Temple of Blood to acquire the Nagger um, Gad tattoo. The final upgrade. Now we head this way now. Damn, they, they make these guys sound creepy as hell. What did the switch do? It moves the lava ducts. So basically these things just like little like turbines that move the lava flow, I believe. Oh, looks like I'm out of energy. And we first up the, the teddy bear spawn, so let's take a look at it. So our there are nine dark souls. We made the same with 32 cattle. Hope we're gonna be able to find them all, but I think we're not gonna find the first try yet until we get the um the Nagger upgrade to so, uh, to have the ability to swim in lava. So on on the remaster, I did um I did complete the lava ducks in one run because I had I acquired the um the the Nagger um gas. Great. So Dark Souls remains the same area. Dark Souls. Another cattle, good. I don't want to miss one. Man, the detail, look at the light. I love that detail, man. This game is really good. They, the developer group made a great job with this game. Oh my god, I did not realize I'm low on health. Let's take out the violator quickly. Too late. It got me. Damn. Uh, good thing it's not that far, because once you get the teddy bear spawn, you're likely gonna be back so yeah they're not it's a mirror they definitely were more accurate I tried to die I'm still used to fighting them back in the 64 version but yeah these guys are tough all right there you go all right, let's get some more items because we ran out of um, skulls so let's stick to the shadow gun for now on Man, this, it looks so good. I like the lava duck, especially with the movement of the light. The music changed for a bit. They, they had a lot of new music tech for this level. Yeah, we're gonna stick with the, with the um, Violator for now on. 
Until we get a lot of um Until we get a lot of energy. So right now we're sticking with the violator for now. Try to kill everybody quickly. I am putting some use to it. Oh no, I needed that health. Oh well. So there was a shortcut, I'm not sure this works. There's a faster way to get that dark soul, but I don't think there I don't think it's gonna work. Oh it worked! The in the PC version it never worked on me, but in the 64 version. In the 64 version it worked for me, but the the pile of skin was actually bigger, so we have already have a new shortcut, so speedrunners, I hope you're watching this. Yo, take me later. Give me a shadow. I'm kidding. No need to. Unless you have to. Alright, so let's make our way here. And this is the worst place I hate being. This platforming area is so time consuming. Yeah, you have to be there more than once. Oh, wait, more of them. Let's clear up the area first before we attempt. Any more these? Yep. There we go. He's dead already. A piece of cattle. I'll take it. We have a hundred now, so we got ourselves another health upgrade, which I'll do at the end of this video. Make sure that's everything. The music feels so different in this level than it was in the '64 version. It kind of gives us its own feel. So let's let's do all this platforming. It's gonna be annoying, guys. So so I think I may have to edit this part out because I think this I'm gonna do platforming one time. In the PC version, it's kind of hard to platform. You gotta you gotta look directly at the area you wanna at the area you wanna jump to. It's kind of annoying because you're likely to miss. Yep, and it see that's what I was talking about. The jumps are very hard to make. If I don't make it up there, I may have to skip it. I'm, I still have to edit every part out when it comes to these jumps. It's just annoying. They're hard to pull off. Oh, good. Not bad in the second attempt. Watch out for the blade. Let's grab some health. All right, let's go ahead and make a cross. What the hell was that? I hear the worst sound. I'm kind of scared at the moment. Is there a boss in this level? I think there is a boss here. Honestly, guys, um, it does sound like the Seraph Queen, but you know she's not been added yet. Okay, they made this level kind of creepy, but... Okay, that, this, this level... The music is scary as hell. There you go, let's get this Dark Soul. Alright, let's take out the, the rattle now. Not that we have the... Um, let's grab this Violet Emma, we're gonna need it. So once again, I'm had to climb up here again. So um, we're gonna edit this part out until I get back up there. All right, so I made it back here. There's another pass I did not. I just noticed this. This was never. This is a brand new area. They did not add it in the um, original. What was this side though? Oh, it's another retractor chamber. Wow, this is a whole new area. We have to see what's in here. Let's check it. Let's clear everything out before we head out. Yep. He, he's the only guard on duty. They actually learned how to put a guard on, just like they didn't do in the um, in the playroom. All right. So here we go. So this is a brand new area they did not add. So. 
And you know what? We found. Hey, now that could be useful. We ha we officially have four out of five retractors. So one more. We got one more out there. So. From the looks of it, I think this this area here leads back to the lava ducks. If it does, we're gonna have to skip the trip out and make it back up again. So, let's go down. I was expecting a secret, but guess not. Alright, let's head back to that area once more. Alright then, so, um, we're back up here for some reason. Um, they speed, um, pass around here. Unfortunately, they moved them to the new, um, retractor chamber, so, um, Alright then, so there's a, there's a cat right here. This one's a very difficult one. I will admit, it took me a lot of attempts to get it. This is my final attempt. You know what guys, I'm gonna get this off camera and um, afterwards we'll head straight to the Temple of Life. Alright then, so we are right at the Temple of Life. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a brand new self health upgrade. Oh! Not to detail, you actually can get a refill of your health. These gifts. I give to thee, O oh gracious Loa, O oh generous Loa, a spiritual trade for life beyond. <sighs> the life force fills me with its savage fire. So I guess we're going to wrap this up here. On the next part, we're going to go ahead and visit the Temple of Blood to get the final GAT upgrade. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give a thumbs like new here on my subscribe. This is Shadow Man Remastered Part 14 of Sidon Lava Ducks. So as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. And welcome to the DH Network. This is your captain speaking. Sunny now.